hello 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 everybody welcome back to my channel hope you guys have been blessed and staying safe uh this is an unboxing and review video i guess um you can see here i got the htv Ront mini heat press for myself for christmas uh i know it's been a while since i uploaded a video but guys we ended up getting sick during the christmas holiday Y'all know the crud was going on, the flu, COVID, all of that stuff. And unfortunately, we were quarantined for Christmas. And so I did not have the energy to do anything. So here we are with the first video of the year. Um, This is how it came. I ordered it from Amazon. I got it for $16.98. I think I it was like a... 20 25 percent off coupon or something like that um i wanted a cricket mini press the thing i don't like about cricket is number one you have to download software um to use their stuff and then it has to do updates and all of that and i'm just like no i just want to plug and play i ain't got time for that extra stuff so i have not even used it i have it sitting on top of my actual heat press um so I'm going to try to do three different things. Let me scoot this out the way. First thing I got, y'all, this is my Teflon sheet from my heat press pad. I got it on here. So I got this little backpack from Walmart a couple of years back. I'm going to try to put my initial in the middle. Y'all, I ain't got my nails done or nothing. When I tell y'all, we was, yeah. Um. Then I got this mask, and this is just to practice on. I got this mask from Target. Um, I don't like this mask because, it, as you can tell, it has no structure. Um, and even though it had a little pocket for you to put a filter in, this thing will collapse around your face when you're breathing. So I'm just like, I paid for it. I'm going to use it. Um, and then I got this Dollar Tree wine bottle bag, um, which I actually was going to do a... Um, tutorial for this during the holidays but just like i said i got sick um i took the plastic wrap off of here just so i can kind of look at the instructions and everything um so y'all this is what it looks like fresh out the box so when i looked at these instructions i was like who in the world can see that and i see y'all can see it because i'm bringing it up close um but these are in celsius Y'all know here in America, we do Fahrenheit. So, of course, I went ahead and Googled <laughs> what it is. So, this is what it comes like. I don't know how long this cord is. Um, Lord, I can't untwist it. Twisty thingy. I got, just like I said, I got it on top of my heat press. Um, and I didn't know if this cord was going to be long or not. So, I just got an extension cord. It doesn't say not to, um, but the wattage is not that high, so I hope we'll be okay. Um, so, this is how it comes. And it's got a good weight to it. And this is the little heat protective base that you would sit it in. So, what I'm going to do is plug it up right quick. Um while i'm getting everything ready just like i said it uh the direct it really not it's really not directions it's just like whatever so i went to google and this is what it is so setting number one is 125 degrees celsius to 140. um it's on now let me go ahead and cut it on while i'm waiting and i'm putting it on too let me set it in this little carrier thingy. So, 125 degrees to 140 degrees Celsius is setting number one. That converted to 257 to 284 degrees Fahrenheit. Setting number two is 140 degrees Celsius to 160 degrees Celsius. That's 284 to 320 degrees Um fahrenheit and i just cut this on y'all i don't know how long it's gonna take to get to temp it doesn't even say um so that's 
So I just thought about that. Um, setting number three, back to what I said. I don't remember if I said it or not, but I'm going to say it again. Setting two is 140 to 160 degrees Celsius, which converts to 284 to 320 degrees Fahrenheit. Setting three is 165 degrees Celsius to 180 degrees Celsius. That's 329 to 356 Fahrenheit. Um, normally when I'm doing regular HTV, I'm normally at 320, 325 um, for about 14 seconds or something like that. So I'm going to put it on setting two uh, just to see how that works. This is my first time using it, y'all, so I have no clue. Um, it does not tell you how long it's going to take. Um... Oh, well, look at here. You should read the directions. Directions say the red light means it's heating up and the green light means heating completes. So apparently when the green light comes on, which is on now, it should be ready. I don't remember when I plugged it up if um, that red light came on or not. I wasn't even looking. Because I was trying to look at this little note that I had taken uh, when I converted it from Celsius to Fahrenheit. It's green. Um, <laughs> I'm going to put my hand up under it and see. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is this wine bottle bag from the Dollar Tree. So I'm going to go ahead and lint roll it. Um, I don't think any lint is on there, but... I'm gonna do it anyway, and I'm a. The good thing about HTV, the carrier sheet is kind of sticky, so I'm gonna put this right here. Uh, but this one is not. But I got my handy dandy heat tape, and so I'm gonna tape this down. I got um this parchment paper that I'm a put over this um i normally use my heat press it's got a teflon sheet on it but i'm not using a heat press so i'm gonna put this on here and now when it comes to this part you know what your heat press you pop it on and and, and you know set it and forget it with this right here we kind of gonna iron this joker like we iron and close um it feels hot I don't know how long to do this for. Uh, this is just a little bit bigger than the design. Well, the design is just a little bit bigger than this uh, press. Okay, so now it just turned red. And you just saw a few minutes ago this thing was green. Um, I don't know what that is all about. I guess it's heating up again. Maybe the temperature dropped because I set it on this. See, now it's green again. So I, uh, I'm i guessing the temperature will probably fluctuate while we're using it because now the light is turned red again. So I, I don't know what's up with that. Um, again, this is my first seat. Now it's green. <laughs> I guess it's just going to fluctuate and I'm just going to press this on here and I guess do it like I'm using an iron maybe. Well, I'll hold it for a couple of seconds. I know with the Cricut Easy Press, the bigger ones, people just hold it down and apply a significant amount of pressure. But with these smaller ones like this, I just see people either pressing it like this or either going back and forth um like they would their home iron um so i'm gonna do that then i'm gonna take a peak test this video may be long just because i want to try it on three different things i may cut it off at the mask um and that's okay but i just want to see how this works i was gonna use see now it's back red again so i'm assuming the temperature is fluctuating while we're using it so i'm not sure how consistent that would be because now it's green 
Um, I, I don't know what's up with that. Uh, so I'm just gonna. So it's not ready yet. It's still. Uh oh, I'm sorry. I hit my thing. So I'm just gonna move this around. So I don't know if maybe next time when I cut this thing on, if I just plug it up and just leave it plugged up for a long period of time and then just come back. Um, maybe I probably should have pre-pressed this bag just to get it kind of warm a little bit. Um, and I got this thing because sometimes I have little small things that I need to use. Uh, and I don't feel like cutting on my whole big heat press um, or either something that has an intricate design that like has a zipper or something like that. And I'm afraid of, you know, melting the zipper. All right, let me see. Uh, one thing I'm noticing that I don't like. Okay, that came out okay. Um, one thing I'm noticing that I don't like, I guess because I was squishing and moving it around you see that why like maybe it almost kind of moved a little bit because you see it here on the w um but you don't see it on everything else hmm learning curve um maybe i shouldn't press down as hard maybe i don't know but this is cute let's try the mask um Again, this is a mask I got from Target. There were two in the pack. And this was during the the initial phase of the pandemic. So I think they were like $4 or something. And as everything started to die down, I guess if you call it, um, they lowered the price. And just like I said, I'm not going to use this particular mask for the simple fact that once you put it on, it caves around your face i've got other masks um at the house now that i'm gonna use and yes i am gonna mask back up again um the rates here are kind of going up and a lot of people are sick with the flu and other kind of respiratory illnesses um so that's my precaution all right this is this mask again it's green so i'm gonna see and i probably should have you <laughs> see how quick it turned red um, I probably should have pre-pressed this. Um, I'm just going to rub it on here. I wonder, because I know this carrier sheet is supposed to be able to take some heat, because I can't really see under this doggone parchment paper. Um, if I keep moving it around instead of pressing, look at that. See? See? See how easy that was? So maybe I shouldn't try to press as, you know, and I think I used the wrong darn S. Yeah, this is supposed to be for this bag. Okay, so I'm seeing now not to press, um, to put it on and just work it in circles. And I'm going to put this on and just swirl it around here a few times just to make sure. It's on there. Uh, so, yeah, it's all a learning curve. You just kind of got to play around with it. So, this is what I was really curious about doing. Um, but I grabbed the wrong S. This S was supposed to go on the mask. This was supposed to go on here. So, unfortunately, um, I don't have any more vinyl cut for the bag. Um, so yeah, that's a, a disappointment. I was trying to see if I had like a little something around here because I normally keep like little transfers and things of that nature. Um, the little smaller ones that I can use and I don't, uh, because I was really curious as to how that was uh going to turn out i would have loved to have seen that um maybe another video 
I'll try it and see because, yeah, this video is already kind of long. And I don't want to prolong it. Well, here's a heart. So I'll just put this heart on here. Um, I got a little pink heart that I cut off of something. I hope y'all can hear me. I walked off for a second, so. So I got this little heart. I'm just gonna put it on there. Um, and I'm gonna press if I don't drop it. And I'm also kind of concerned about the material of this bag being able to withstand the heat. Um, oh, well, look at here. Well, there it is. Look, that's not what I wanted to put on there, but no biggie. Um. Because the thing about this bag that I don't like, even though it has this little keychain loop, I, I bought a couple of these on clearance at Walmart. This broke. Um, so, yeah. But anyway, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Thank you guys for supporting me. Um, so, I would say, all in all, I'm happy with this. Um, it's, it's cute. It's easy to maneuver. Um, it can get in little small tight spaces. Uh, I just know now not to press. Um, I'm sorry. Of course, people will call while I'm recording. Um, I just know not to press down so hard and just move it around. So anyway, yeah, thank you guys for everything. Thank you for your comments. Um, if you found this video helpful, give me a great big thumbs up. Um, share it with your friends. Um, if you have not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the notification button so you can be notified when I upload a new video, which I plan on doing better this year. Um, I'm just working on getting my strength back um, and everything. But yeah, I, I got a lot planned for this year. So again, this is the unboxing and review of this HTB Runt Mini Press. I purchased it from $16.00. On Amazon, I'm going to try to see if I can find the link and post it in the description. Uh, Y'all, take care of yourself. Um, be saved. And as I always say, do what makes you happy. And for me, that's crafting. Bye now.